Hi friends, Tina did it here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have two beautiful beach decor for you. I made this using all Dollar Tree items and I'll be placing these in my bathroom and I'm pleased with the way they turned out so I had to share with you and I made these two and the total was under $10. So if you want to see how I made these two projects just keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with two of these flip-flops wall decors from Dollar Tree and I'm going to take off the ribbon up on top. I will be using twine to hang these later on. Now notice how they're both left feet so I'm going to turn one over in order for it to be the right foot to the right sandal. So I'm going to sand down the one on the left right there to get all that glitter off. That way they'll both match in color and it will paint nicely and smoothly. I did notice after I sanded it down though that you can actually peel the art that's on there and a lot of it does come off right away but if you struggle with some pieces like I did take as much as you can off and then take a cup of water and with a paintbrush just apply some water on there and then bring back your sanding block and that should come right off. And once I'm done doing that, I'm going to go in with this Caribbean paint by Apple Barrel and I'm going to paint both of them. Here's how it looks two coats later and fully dry. Now I'm going to go in with this mop head from Dollar Tree. I know I always say this, but yes, everything in this video is from Dollar Tree. Now I'm just going to take a few strands from that mop head. You can just pull it and it comes right off. Start off by pulling a few out and the rest of them just come right off easily. But I'm going to take three for each flip flop and I'm going to um, glue them first using hot glue and then I'm just going to braid it. You could use twine or rope for this step if you'd like, but I wanted to use something white and this is what I came up with. Before I forget to mention, if you like videos that are straight on point and cute and simple projects like this one and definitely affordable, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified every time I upload a video. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome. It's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to support my channel by subscribing and click the notification bell. After braiding it, I did apply some glue to the end of the braid so that way it doesn't fall apart until I figure out where I'm going to cut and glue it. See, notice here I'm eyeballing where I'm going to cut and I apply a little bit of hot glue just to keep the braid together where I'm going to make that cut. And I'm just going to go in with scissors, cut it, and then glue it down to the sandals. And here is the fun part, it's time to decorate. This seashell, it's actually an Easter egg that I picked up during Easter time from Dollar Tree. But if you don't have that, you can use just seashells and it still looks great. But as for me, I'm actually going to go in with these flowers and I actually double petaled it, if that makes sense, where you just pull off another flower and you put them back to back. And I put a pearl in the middle and I just put that in the center where, um, where I hot glued the mop strands earlier. Now I'm just going to add a silver hook for my towels using these, um, this packet comes with four of the adhesive hooks and they stick pretty well. So you don't even need glue for this part. So just peel off the back and stick that in place. You could also use these hooks that I used in my next project, but I just wanted to use the single hooks for just one towel, but you can definitely use these tool hooks if you'd rather hang up maybe more than one towel if you'd like. So I'm just going to place that there and I'm going to add twine to the top to hang it and we're done with this project.
Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other one, but this time I'm going to time lapse this so you don't have to watch it over again. So here's a quick part of how it's done. Now we're ready for our next project. Here is the surfboard towel holder or washcloth holder and I picked up these tool hooks from Dollar Tree and I used three of them. I already went ahead and spray painted them white and the plate by the way um, it's with the summer items they have different patterns but I just went ahead and went with the seashells because I am going for that beach look so I did pick that one up so anyway I spray painted the hooks like I was saying and I'm going to go in with the E6000 and place those in the center of the plate evenly spaced out you could go ahead and paint the plate sand it down a little bit and go ahead and paint it but I just like the design that it already had so I just stuck with it but you can definitely take this idea and personalize the surfboard look now I'm going to take these hooks the silver ones are from the back of the frame but the black ones I picked up from Amazon a while ago and using E6000 I'm just going to glue that in the center top of the plate and now it's time to add your washcloth but before I do that, I wanted to decorate my hooks a little bit, so I did add a few seashells. At the top, I have smaller seashells, while at the bottom, I have bigger seashells. And that's it. I add my washcloth, and here is the finished product. I love the way they both turned out, and I will be putting these in my bathroom, but just the lighting in there isn't that great, so that's why they're out here. But let me know what you think down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And I love how these two definitely changed the look of the bathroom without spending so much. They both cost less than $10 to make. But if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more fun DIYs. And don't forget to share with your friends. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you all next time. Bye.